So there are, then now the next slide is about the stand names for the packets. What do you call a packet? Every layer has a different packet and it's better to call them differently and therefore ISO, the original standards which back in 1984, which actually never got caught on too much, rest of the layers, but this nomenclature actually is used even in right now. So the thing is everything has, every layer has two things, SDU and PDU, service data unit and protocol data unit. SDU is what comes through the door and PDU is what gets out of the door. So if this is a layer and SDU comes in and PDU gets out. SDU is service data unit what comes in, generally that becomes the data for that layer. A header is added and that becomes the PDU and it may not become a PDU because in some cases it may be broken into something and then put a header, you know, so all that is done. So whatever goes out, basically PDU is goes horizontally. So if I were to draw this and I, I don't have that picture here, you draw two layers, the receiver and the transmitter. So the data link of this transmitter sends something to the data link of the receiver. That would be the data link layer PDU. The network layer of the transmitter sent something to the network layer of the receiver. That would be the network layer PDU. So whatever goes horizontally is PDU. Whatever goes vertically is SDU. And the SDUs kind of keep changing from layer to layer. So basically, whatever comes in here to the LLC, would it be LLC as SDU, SDU? Then it sends it down to MAC layer that will become MAC SDU. And then it sends it down that will become that SDU. So every layer has input and output, right? So the output of one layer becomes the input of the other layer. All right. So when I say from now on, MSDU, that means MAC SDU. And whatever will come out of MAC, it will be called MAC PDU. MPDU. And that will become physical layer convergence procedure. That is the next layer down. PLCP SDU. Right? And this will produce a PDU, PPDU, which will become, which will go to the PMD and so on and so forth. Now, PMD does not have SDU, PDU because PMD just so happens is the physical media dependent layer, which are just the bits going around real, you know, there may not be frames. So frames are up to here, right? So, so we will be using these words, MSDU, MPDU, PSDU, PPDU. And I can take it up to the network layer. They would be called NSDU and NPDU. Now, in the TCP IP world, this technology, this terminology was not used. And so they didn't really have such clarification, but NPDU is what we call datagram. No, no, the packet actually doesn't say which layer it belongs to. So the packet is very confusing. But if you say datagram, then in the TCP IP world, datagram means IP packet. Okay. TCP packet is called segment. So P PDU would be segment. And application PDU, I think it's called packet or something or message. Or application PDU is called message. So messages become segments, segments become datagrams, datagram becomes frame. So yes, the, the Ethernet things are called frames and those would be MAC PDU. So, so they use these different words, but in the ISO world, they had a very standard thing. You can even call them L2 PDU, L3 PDU, L4 PDU, L5 PDU, and so on and so forth, L3 SDU. So you can call it by layer number or you can call it by layer name. Now, the physical layer is divided into two parts as you show, see in this picture. One is the physical layer convergence procedure, PLCP, and then second one is the PMD. PMD is pure physical layer, pure bit, bit by bit thing. You know, it doesn't really know much about the frames. The thing that knows about the frame in the physical layer is this PLCP. Okay. So if we have to do anything related to frames, that will be done in PLCP in the physical layer. Now, physical layer doesn't know about the access method and things like that. All those are in the MAC layer. 
MAC layer is the one that we were talking about as to when to transmit this and that. Physical layer, once you tra transmit it, will just send it, you know, using whatever quam, this and that stuff, right? So, physical layer is different from the MAC layer and the logical link control, actually, again, all of this is 473, but I'm just, I am just saying it here because a lot of people don't teach all this because they were never exposed to ISO. And I was exposed to ISO to the up to here because in the days when there was a debate between TCP IP and ISO, I was in the ISO camp. I was working for digital equipment and digital equipment wanted ISO. And uh, actually all the companies wanted ISO. The academic community came up with TCP IP and the government gave it free to everybody. So everybody just switched. And then, you know, we switched. But um, so ISO didn't happen, but we, you know, we wrote a lot of it. We, we used a lot of it and there were a lot of things related to uh, ISO in DECnet and, and so on and so forth. This is all back 1984 and before. So anyway, so, so this is still used though, this SDUA stuff. So I want to make sure that when I teach 473, I cover you know these things because they need this. Any question about PDU and SDU? By the way, LLC and M M Mac. I don't know how many student, how many professors teach LLC, but again, LLC is so on the network, you have not just one one wire, you have bridges between the wires, right? So you have Ethernet, actually we call it Ethernet segment, another Ethernet segment, two wires, then there is a bridge and so on and so forth. So if you go from here to there, that is the whole Ethernet, not just, you know, I mean, one segment. So when you cross the bridge, then you need LLC, logical link control, okay? So logical link control handled the, all the bridging stuff and the MAC was basically how do you access the wire, media access control. And there were different kinds of LLCs, they are all history now, um, Ethernet had a different LLC than token ring, token ring is no longer there. Again, token ring is no longer there but lots of academic people still teach it because they're not aware that it is no longer there. It, it died in 1999, so 16 years ago. So so the, so the idea is that there are things which are alive, things which are dead. So I'm not right now, basically LLC, I use the word LLC, so I just want to make sure that, you know, at least you know that this is, we won't be talking LLC at all in this course, but there is this layer. We will start with MAC, we will have MSDU, MPDU, PSDU, and PPDU. So what happens is when you give a packet, or, uh, sorry, when you give a, a PSDU to the physical layer, it adds some bits in the front. Why does it add some bits in the front? So that you can figure out that a packet is coming. See, by the time you figure out the packet is coming, some bits are gone. Right? Not only that, you may be on the wrong timing. You think the bit starts here and the bit starts there. So you need some synchronization. So they add some synchronization bits in the front. Right? They tell basically that look, I'm speeding as speeding at this speed, and now a packet is going to come. So you synchronize to that, and then you by the time the first real bit comes in, you are all ready. That is PLCP. All right, so let us see. So actually, there's more to it. What I said was just the prefix. So what we do is we take whatever bits are coming in from the Mac. Those are scrambled. Scramble means randomized. Okay. You might send 000 and it might become 01110. I mean, basically, there is a shift register like random number generator. Shift register, you shift the bits in and they come out differently. Okay. Randomized. So that is called a scrambler. Once you scramble, then you do the block coding. Um, and um, that means you take many different bits, you know, like you four bits from here, four bits from here, four bits from there, these are different blocks, and then you interleave the blocks. So you see there's a black block and there's a red block, and the bits come out like this. They're interleaved. Then they are converted into symbols. Now these are bits, we want to get, let's say we, you are using two bits per symbol, then they will become 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, right? And then we do the modulation. Let's say we are using 4 QAM, 
then we decide the amplitude and modulation. Yeah, right, right. So everything is a standard. Anything that is random has to be standard. Otherwise, you know, I'd be confused totally, right? So everything here, in fact, the black coding, interleaver, modulator, modulator, everything is standard. And so the receiver knows that this is a four quam. The receiver knows that this is, you know, everything else. If you change anything on this side, the receiver will know on the other side that this has changed. And they will just follow the opposite direction exactly the same way to get the same bits. So when do you use this? Right? Okay, yes, yeah, that's coming up. Okay. So basically, that is coming up in a minute, right? So basically, wh what comes out of here, then you put something else in front of it. You put the some sync bits, which are 80 bits of sync. 80 bits of sync. Those are as shown here. This is not always the case. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. You just send 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 80 bits. Uh, why 80 bits? Yeah. yeah, because that that's how long it takes for your circuit to wake up. It was sleeping, remember? <laughs> You wake up in the morning and suddenly you get the message, you say, what, 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 right? So that's what 80 bits it takes. Then there is a start of frame delimiter. Then there is a special bit pattern, which is this in this case, 18 bits. And when you see in instead of 0, 1, 0, 1, you see this, then you know now, now a frame is beginning. Now I got to figure out somewhere where the address is, right? Yeah, I think this could be 16 bit. I think this is just a typo. Because 18 doesn't make sense. And so 16 bits of this uh, SFD, then 12 bits of length, 4 bits of data rate, 16 bits of HEC, header error check. This is a CRC just for the header. Okay. And then the header, whatever, right. And so this is all part of PLCP. So the PLCP knows the header, knows the frame, knows things. PMD doesn't. You see, this part doesn't know anything about the frame bits or anything like that. So the question was asked, actually, you asked the question as to why we have to do all this scrambling. This is because so that we can make the errors distributed. You see, if I have, I am sending 2000 bits. If my middle 100 bits are lost, it's very difficult to correct it. But if my first bit, 100 first bit, 200 first bit, 300 first bit are lost, I can easily correct because of my CRC and because of my thing, right? So we want the errors to be distributed. The noise is not. Noise, you have no control. Noise is bursty. Noise will happen whenever it happens. And so by this method, as you can see, what happens is the noise goes all over. So if I get this two bits gone, I am sure that one is from this block and one is from that block. Right? And then, and then those bit, even if there were less than four bits here, then the two from this block and two from this block, those two will not be just next to each other. They would be from some places somewhere else. Right? So I have better chance of correcting them. So all this Randomization, all it does is takes this thing which happens at a very instant of time and distributes it over multiple instances of time because then bits are all from all over come here. You see what I mean? What is constant? Yeah, there, there are bits. I mean, no, 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 yeah, right, there might be many blocks. Okay, so just imagine that there are many black coders and many scramblers. So the, it is just, um, I mean, I haven't shown it. But red is another another chain which is coming in. The multiple blocks. Actually, another way you can do it is that, okay, black coder puts its five bits here, the next five bits here, and then five bits here. So all these blocks are here. Now you merge them. If you have just one black coder, then you can just store them and merge them later. If you have multiple black coders, they could just be coming in and going out. So here are blocks. And the blocks could be 8 bit, 16 bit. As shown here, it is 6 bit, which is kind of not reasonable, but good enough for this example. So bits, blocks, frames, right? And you know, so this is this blocks. So everybody understands what is PLCP, what does PLCP does, uh, and then uh, do, and then what does um, PMD do? PMD is the top, PLCP is the bottom.